uh, week four or five of the five questions to get to know us a little better. I don't know, Alex, if they wanted to save the best to last or if they were just more frightened of what might, might come up between us two. So let's put them off. In any event, I'm Gary Atkins, uh, Assistant Director of Admission. Uh, I am going to be posing five questions to Alex today, totally unrehearsed. He has no idea what I'm about to hit him with, but just to calm your nerves, Alice, uh, Alice, Alex, <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be nice. Awesome. We're going to start off with some, uh, maybe some geography. Geography. Oh, geez. we are, uh, you and I are two non-native Ohioans on For the sure. admission staff, transplants, if you will. Yep. Um, I'm going to ask you um, where you're originally from, and as a transplant to Ohio, what do you love most and miss most about your native state? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, like Gary said, I'm Alex. I'll go ahead and give you just a little introduction. Uh, admission counselor. Work with students from Northwestern Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, kind of every state that's not in the Northeastern Panhandle. Uh, but like he said, kind of a transplant, not originally from Ohio. Uh, moved here about three years ago. Um, from Huntington, West Virginia, originally lived in Kentucky for about six or seven years doing college. Um, so kind of new to the area, but the thing I liked the most about being in Ohio, uh, when I was in Kentucky, I had extremely bad allergies. The pollen's really bad there. Uh, so now being here, I hardly ever have allergy problems, which is great. I can even sleep with a window open. Um, the thing I miss the most, um, geez, I don't know. All my family lived pretty close. So the closest family member I have now to where I am is about three, three and a half hours, something like that. So it's quite a hike to go see my family. I used to live about 15 minutes away. So those are probably the, the two things for me. That's very good. That's a good answer. Family will like that answer. I assume they will tune yeah. in to this. <laughs> uh, here's another one on geography. Oh, boy. I'm curious to know a place that you have visited once and cannot wait to revisit if given a chance? Yeah, that's actually an easy question. So last summer, um, my family, my wife, my children and I, plus my in-laws and their two daughters, went to Ocean City, Maryland um, late in the summer. Uh, it's a beach. It's northern uh, in Maryland, obviously. Uh, but it's right on the coast. You've got to go across a big bridge to get out to it. It's kind of like it just out in the middle of nowhere uh but it's really cool i have never really been much of a beach guy uh but after the trip i had so much fun and just enjoyed it so much that i haven't i can't wait to go back i was actually gonna book a trip to go back for this summer and then the virus stuff started happening so i kind of mm -hmm. postponed that purchase for a while but uh it's a really cool place uh lots of cool stuff to do so really enjoyed it great Great. Well, you reference family, um, unintentional segue. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you a family question. Uh, we're not the only parents in the admission office, but we are the only fathers of daughters. Yeah. Uh, I have one. You have two. I'm curious to know if you can put yourself back to when the oldest was born. Okay. Uh, getting a little personal. Did you have a hope? Like, I want this to be either or. And what was your reaction uh, when you discovered that it was a girl? And what do you love about having daughters? Yeah, so... It's a good question. Uh, not too personal. Originally, I think, obviously, I hoped I had a boy. That was that was the hope. 
uh, I'm the last Blankenship of the family line, so kind of ends with me. So originally the hope was that I would have a girl, um, or I'm sorry, a boy. But when I found out I was having a girl, I was super cool with it. I have a sister, an older sister, um, and a younger brother. Um, my wife, she's from an all-girl family, so her parents have uh, Abby, who is the oldest, Katie, which is the middle, Izzy, which is the youngest one. So they're from an all-girl family, so she was used to it. Um, that was her hope and expectation. So uh, for me, it was a boy, but having a girl, it's been fun. I've learned a lot. Uh, I've watched more Disney movies than I care to admit. Uh, <laughs> I've helped put on more princess dresses than I care to admit, but it's been a fun ride. I don't think my wife would be able to handle me with, with two boys. So two girls, it was awesome. I love it. Well, mine's a little older. Uh, I won't spoil anything for you. Just uh, look forward to every moment and keep that seatbelt buckled. Uh, enjoy the ride. Yeah, three and four. <laughs> That's how old they are for everybody else. I guess Gary knows, but three and a four-year-old, so it's quite a ride. Excellent. Well, here's one. I, I enjoyed your um, – a couple of weeks back, we did the music recommendations. or. Sure. One of those yeah. weeks, as you know, they're all a blur right yeah. now. Um, but I really appreciated your musical uh, recommendation. I happen to be a, a fan of the Kings of Lyon. Um, and I'm curious, I'm, I'm, sh I'm, I'm confident we have some musical overlap in our interests. Okay. But I'm also curious to know about the opposite end. What is that, uh, what is that nails on the chalkboard Oh. musical artist or genre for you like the I, i'm sorry yeah. i'm a good sport but we have to turn this off now yeah um <laughs> gosh there's so many um, oh. the, f the first one when you said nails on the chalkboard florida georgia line any of that just extremely poppy country music and it's so popular, like being in Ohio around this area, it's very popular. So you hear it all the time. It wasn't extremely popular in down in Kentucky where I was. So Florida Georgia Line, Luke Bryan, all those people. It's just no, no thanks, not not I, for me. I think we might have more in common musically <laughs> than uh, I. I originally expected. I appreciate uh, that answer. Yeah. Sorry for all you folks that don't but hey we're all just being honest yeah i know i think that uh luke likes both of those so sorry sorry luke but i can't handle he knows not he, he knows what not to play in his <laughs> office or what to play uh, yeah to keep, to keep alex away depending on the day yeah all right my final question and this is this is a good one because you are as we all know a big sports fan yeah and fanhood, I, I, I don't know if there's a rival in terms of the intensity of fanhood, you and your blue. But I'm more curious about Alex the athlete. I'd like to know uh, what sports you played as a kid. Yeah. Um, what were you best at? And how far did you go with that what was a what was a career highlight from that number one sport go ahead and brag about yourself brag about myself okay if possible because so. no one can check your facts here <laughs> so. yeah um so i played baseball basketball and football up until so from the time that i could i guess up until see football i played until i was a freshman um in, in high school and then after that I stopped I broke my hand and then I broke my other thumb twice and stopped playing that so um <clears throat> played basketball until I was a sophomore in high school I think it was my sophomore year freshman or sophomore year and stopped with that and then I played baseball until I was a junior in high school and just kind of got over it so uh I was probably the best at baseball um I liked it that's actually my least favorite sport uh but I was probably the best at it. My grandpa really likes baseball. Well, liked baseball. Um, 
And so he was kind of the sole reason I kept playing and my family liked it. So I liked baseball as best or I I didn't like baseball as much, but was best at that one. Career highlights. You may have answered that already. I <laughs> Yeah, I, I was I'm trying to think of a couple off the top of my head, but it's been like eight or nine years since since then. So um yeah, but I can't think of any off the top of my head, but that was the one that I was the best at. Maybe so. a career highlight. It was no no more b- uh, broken bones after you get yeah. it. There, there's yeah. a highlight. Let's go with that. Yeah, I retired early. Um, so Retired early. Yeah, but that's what people want, right, is to retire early. So retired as a junior in high school. There you go. All right. Well, thanks, you guys, for uh, putting up with us um bantering with each other here uh the next installment will be alex taking shots at me and uh, i'm looking forward to it yeah. have a great see afternoon you guys, uh thursday yeah all right see you gary see you then